5 Women in the Bible, What Can We Learn From Them? Part 1. The Bible introduces us to many women whose lives can teach us valuable lessons. In this video, we briefly describes just some of the women mentioned in the Bible. Many are fine examples to imitate. Others provide warning examples. 1. Abigail. Who was Abigail? She was the wife of a wealthy but harsh man named Nabal. Abigail, however, was discerning and humble. As well as beautiful both physically and spiritually. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verse 3. What did she do? Abigail acted with wisdom and discernment in order to avoid calamity. She and Nabal lived in the region where David, Israel's future king, was hiding as a fugitive. While David and his men were there. They protected Nabal's flocks of sheep from robbers. But when messengers from David asked Nabal for some food, Nabal insolently refused to provide it. David was incensed. So he and his men went out to kill Nabal and all the men of his household. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verses 10 to 12, 22. Abigail acted quickly when she heard what her husband had done. She gave her servants a supply of food to take to David and his men. And she followed to beg David for mercy. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verses 14 to 19, 24 to 31. When David saw her gift, observed her humility, and heard her wise advice, he recognized that God had used her to prevent a tragedy. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verses 32, 33. Soon thereafter, Nabal died and Abigail became David's wife. 1 Samuel chapter 25 verses 37 to 41. What can we learn from Abigail? Although beautiful and wealthy, Abigail had a balanced view of herself. To keep peace, she was willing to apologize for something that was not her fault. She handled a tense situation calmly and did so with tact, courage, and resourcefulness. 2. Deborah. Who was Deborah? She was a prophetess whom Israel's God, Jehovah, used to reveal his will on matters affecting his people. God also used her to help settle problems among the Israelites. Judges chapter 4 verses 4, 5. What did she do? The prophetess Deborah courageously supported God's worshippers. At his direction, she summoned Barak to lead an Israelite army against their Canaanite oppressors. Judges chapter 4 verses 6, 7. When Barak asked Deborah to go with him, she did not give in to fear but willingly complied with his request. Judges chapter 4 verses 8, 9. After God gave the Israelites a decisive victory, Deborah composed at least part of the song that she and Barak sang recounting the event. In that song she mentioned the role that Yael, another fearless woman, had played in defeating the Canaanites. Judges, Chapter 5. What can we learn from Deborah? Deborah was self-sacrificing and courageous. She encouraged others to do the right thing in God's eyes. When they did so, she generously gave them credit for what they did. 3. Delilah. Who was Delilah? She was a woman with whom the Israelite judge Samson fell in love. Judges chapter 16 verses 4, 5. What did she do? She accepted money from Philistine officials to betray Samson, whom God had been using to deliver the Israelites from the Philistines. The Philistines were unable to overpower him because of his miraculous physical strength. Judges chapter 13 verse 5. So their officials sought help from Delilah. The Philistines bribed Delilah to find out how Samson got his great strength. Delilah accepted the money. And after several attempts, she finally succeeded in uncovering Samson's secret. Judges chapter 16 verses 15 to 17. She then told his secret to the Philistines, who captured and imprisoned Samson. Judges chapter 16 verses 18 to 21. What can we learn from Delilah? Delilah is a warning example. Overcome by greed, she acted in a deceitful, disloyal, and selfish way toward a servant of Jehovah God. 4. Esther. Who was Esther? She was a Jewess who was chosen by Persian King Ahasuerus to become his queen. What did she do? Queen Esther used her influence to prevent the genocide of her own people. She discovered that an official decree had been issued that designated a specific day, on which all Jews living in the Persian Empire were to be killed. This evil scheme was the work of a man named Haman, who was the Prime Minister. Esther chapter 3 verses 13 to 15, 4 to 1, 5. 
With the help of her older cousin, Mordecai, and at the risk of her life, Esther revealed the scheme to her husband, King Ahasuerus. Esther chapter 4 verses 10 to 16, 7 to 1 minus 10. Ahasuerus then allowed Esther and Mordecai to issue another decree, authorizing the Jews to defend themselves. The Jews thoroughly defeated their enemies. Esther chapter 8 verses 5 to 11, 9 16, 17. What can we learn from Esther? Queen Esther set an outstanding example of courage, humility, and modesty. Psalm chapter 31 verse 24, Philippians chapter 2 verse 3. Despite her beauty and position, she sought counsel and help. When speaking with her husband, she was tactful and respectful, but bold. And at a time of great danger for the Jews, she courageously identified herself as one of them. 5. Eve. Who was Eve? She was the very first woman and is the first woman mentioned in the Bible. What did she do? Eve disobeyed a clear command from God. Like her husband, Adam, Eve was created as a perfect human with free will. And the ability to cultivate godly qualities, such as love and wisdom. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Eve knew that God had told Adam that if they ate from a certain tree, they would die. However, she was deceived into believing that she would not die. In fact, she was led to believe that she would be better off if she disobeyed God. So she ate the fruit and later induced her husband to eat it as well. Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 6, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 14. What can we learn from Eve? Eve is a warning example of the danger of dwelling on wrong desires. Against God's clear command, she developed an overpowering longing to take what did not belong to her. Genesis chapter 3 verse 6, 1 John chapter 2 verse 16. Thanks for watching the video. Please click the subscribe button and the bell icon below. See you in my next video.